Right now, the, the Democrats are really upping the ante on the stimulus. And I think it's going to make it harder and harder for the Republicans to stand in the way between the voters and all this free stuff that the Democrats are promising. In fact, you know, you've got people talking about how bad the economy is, right? It's This recession is so bad. And of course, it's nobody's fault, which makes it all the more reason why everybody needs a bailout because the coronavirus, if it's anybody's fault, it's China's fault. It's not the fault of anybody here in America. So nobody should have to suffer something that wasn't their fault. So the government needs to give everybody money. And what they're saying is that the crisis is so bad, it doesn't matter how much it costs. It doesn't matter what we spend. We just have to keep passing government programs. We got to spend whatever it takes, right? We got to borrow as much as it takes. We can't be concerned about the deficit or the costs because the most important thing is to just get us out of this horrible recession. And so we just need to spend as much as possible, whatever it takes to get out. And then we'll ask about the cost later. But what one of the things that that overlooks, the most important thing is that Government spending doesn't make the economy stronger. It actually makes the economy weaker. So to say the economy is really weak, so we need to spend as much pos as much money as possible to get us out of it, you're actually making the problem worse. That's, that's what happens. Because if government spends money, where are they getting the money to spend? Where are they getting those resources? They're getting them from the private sector. Whatever the government spends, the private sector can't spend. The only time government spending would improve the economy is if the, the, this money is spent in a way that increases productivity. So maybe if the money is spent to have a good judicial system that protects private property and therefore protects entrepreneurs and inventors and, you know, and, and it makes it uh, the market more efficient or we cut down on crime and so the market is more uh, productive, uh, you know, or the government generally on a local level, uses government money efficiently. Maybe the roads run smoother so we can have uh, better traffic or you know, a, a, a better flow of cars and less fewer accidents. And you know, we can reduce commute time or any other infrastructure that government can provide. Now, of course, you, know, you could argue that that infrastructure could have been provided in the private sector. If the government didn't provide it, the private sector might have. And in most cases, that's the case. Uh, but at least the government is doing something with the money, uh, even if it's not doing something as efficiently as the free market would. But when the government simply spends money, right, just takes money or just gives money to people like it's doing right now uh, with the CARES Act or uh, with um, the, 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 the PPP bailouts, the government's just handing out money. And, and so where's that coming from? Any, any spending that is going to result from that money is at the expense of other spending that can't take place because the money has lost value and prices have gone up, right? The government is not uh, helping the economy. The government is hurting the economy. It's the spending that's the burden. It's the spending that amounts to the taxation. So the more the government spends, the more the government burdens the economy. And the weaker the economy is, uh, the less capable it is of, of, of bearing that burden. And so we're basically kicking the economy when it's down, when we e increase government spending during a recession. But apparently this recession is so bad that there's low limit to how much we should spend, which is why we'll never get out of it, why it's going to be a depression. But it is providing this mantra uh, where, you know, spare no expense. And if